Movies often end on cliffhangers, or by hinting towards things to come, and mid- and post-credit scenes are extremely common these days. Examples are especially prominent in the world of comic book movies. This is because the endings often hint towards new characters from the comic books that mainstream movie audiences might not be familiar with. We're going to take a look at 10 movies that ended in a way that suggested something was going to happen in the future, whether it be in a credit scene or otherwise, and we'll explain exactly what that something is going to be. Please note that there will be some spoilers for a number of movies released in 2016. Here's our list of 10 explanations to confusing movie endings. Captain America Civil War A lot happened at the end of Captain America Civil War. The Avengers now officially only consist of Iron Man, a recovering war machine, and Vision. Black Widow is on the run for helping Bucky and Captain America escape, despite having been on Iron Man's team. As per the mid credit scene, Black Panther, also despite having been on Iron Man's team, has taken Captain America and Bucky Barnes to Wakanda, granting them both asylum and putting Barnes back in cryogenic stasis until his brainwashing can be cured. The rest of Team Cap is on the run, including Ant-Man who may well be a fugitive when his next movie with the Wasp comes around. And as per the post credit scene, Spider-Man is back in Queens, in possession of a high-tech gadget that would suggest Tony Stark is going to be helping him in the future. Got all that? Good. A simple little idea that would change everything. Inception For the entire movie, Cobb concerned himself with whether or not he was dreaming or in reality and his totem, a spinning top, would tell him in either case. If it kept spinning, Cobb was dreaming. If it fell, he was awake. The movie ended ambiguously, with Cobb walking away from his spinning totem after seeing his children. And the entire point of that scene, as explained long after the movie's release by director Christopher Nolan, was that Cobb no longer cared whether he was dreaming or awake because he was happy with his life regardless. The Thing John Carpenter's horror classic The Thing was about a parasitic extraterrestrial life form that assimilates other organisms and subsequently imitates them. It infiltrated an Antarctic research station and, at the end of the movie, only two members of the research team were left alive, Keith David's Childs and Kurt Russell's McCready. And while it's obvious that one of them must have been assimilated, it's confusing trying to fathom which one it is. However, there is a subtle clue in the form of some foreshadowing earlier in the movie. Kurt Russell's character handed a drink to a cheating chess computer and, as he and Childs sit as the only survivors, he does the same with Childs. The parallels are obvious. He's the strategist calling the shots and he has the alien all figured out. X-Men Apocalypse X-Men Apocalypse is getting something of a grilling from movie critics, but that doesn't mean that the movie didn't leave a lot of exciting hints about the franchise going forward. For starters, it looks like we're going to see Dark Phoenix in the future. As Apocalypse saying all is revealed as Jean Grey unleashed her power was very ominous, as was her nightmare that shook the X-Mansion. You also have to expect that Quicksilver will reveal himself to Magneto as his son at some point, and that will certainly result in an intriguing relationship. Psylocke made a hasty escape after Apocalypse was defeated. There's every chance she might join up with Deadpool and Cable in an X-Force movie in the future, which would be awesome. However, the most exciting thing came in the post credit scene, as the reveal of a briefcase marked Essex Corp in the Weapon X facility hinted towards the future appearance of Nathaniel Essex, Mr. Sinister himself as a future big bad in the franchise. That will be absolutely amazing to see. Give the people what they want. Birdman. Birdman follows the exploits of a faded actor called Riggin Thompson, played by Michael Keaton, as he struggles to come to terms with the fact that his fame isn't what it once was. Most famous for playing a superhero character named Birdman, Thompson's frail mental state has resulted in him seeing the character in hallucinations. Towards the end of the movie, Thompson replaces a prop gun with a loaded gun in a suicide scene and actually shoots himself in the head. He doesn't die, however, and is later seen recovering in hospital. The last time we see the character, he opens the window of his hospital room and is never seen again. In the final scene, his daughter Sam walks up to the window, looks down, then looks to the sky and smiles. Although it's pretty tragic, what actually happened is that Sam saw her father's spirit heading to heaven, where he'll spend eternity in happiness. Total Recall Total Recall tells the story of Douglas Quaid, a construction worker in 2084 played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's having troubling dreams about Mars and a mysterious woman there. At a company called Recall that provides memory implants of vacations, Quaid decides to take a fantasy memory trip as a secret agent to Mars. Something goes wrong with his implant, however, and from then on the story continuously asks the question of what is real and what is hallucination. At the movie's climax, it's left ambiguous as to whether Quaid is dreaming or in reality. What if this is a dream? 
but Paul Verhoeven, the movie's director, has claimed that everything is taking place in Quaid's head, and he's been rendered permanently stuck like that, thanks to his brain having a violent reaction to the implant process and including aspects of his real life into his fantasy trip. This makes a lot of sense, as far too many coincidences take place for everything that goes on to be real. I have to hand it to you. It's the best mind yet. Guardians of the Galaxy the ending to Guardians of the Galaxy wasn't confusing per se, but there were some important things that you may have missed. You'll no doubt have caught Rocket Raccoon holding a sapling, and seen Minnie Root dancing behind Drax's back. So you'll know the lovable tree-like humanoid is returning in the sequel, but did you catch the post credit scene? The Collector was in his destroyed museum with two characters from the comic books, Howard the Duck and Cosmo the Space Dog, who we may meet again in the future. But the scene served as a timely reminder of the coming of a much more important character in the franchise. We had previously seen a cocoon in the museum, but the devastation caused when it was destroyed will more than likely have seen the character inside it disturbed from his hibernation. That character is Adam Warlock, and he'll be a key character going forward in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole. He'll meet with the Guardians of the Galaxy in their sequel, and his participation alongside them in the fight against Thanos in Avengers Infinity War movies will be decisive when it comes to defeating the Mad Titan. It ends tonight. The Matrix Revolutions if you can understand most of what happened in the three Matrix movies, well done to you, but nobody can know for sure exactly what happened at the end of the Matrix Revolutions. That is apart from the Wachowskis who wrote it, of course. An explanation actually comes from a cutscene in the video game The Matrix The Path of Neo, in which pixelated representation of the Wachowski say this, Neo stands on the verge of Satori, ready to resolve the paradox of choice and choicelessness, free will versus fate, but that can only be achieved through an act of surrender, which occurs after an abandonment of the perspectile nature of truth, accepting the totality of present consciousness which ultimately allows an evolutionary transition, transcending the Cartesian dilemma through emergence of delimited spirit which then provides the world with a third path, the path of Neo, the path of peace. And if that doesn't clear it up for you, basically by referencing a lot of Eastern philosophies, the Wachowskis are saying that Neo's mind and spirit have likely transcended into the Matrix, covering it like a guardian angel or holy ghost. Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice In Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice, Superman was killed in a battle against the monstrous Doomsday, a being created using the corpse of General Zod from Man of Steel and the DNA of Lex Luthor. As a tribute to his fallen fellow hero, Batman vowed to assemble a team of metahumans to battle evil from that point onwards. This was of course foreshadowing the coming of the Justice League, we'll see the likes of Wonder Woman, The Flash, Aquaman and Cyborg in the team in the future. But something else happened at the end of Batman vs Superman. A faint heartbeat was heard, and the dirt around Superman's coffin began to levitate. Superman isn't actually dead. In Man of Steel, particles of ice levitated around Superman the first time he flew. So this is a throwback to that moment, and a sure sign that Superman will fly again. Moreover, in the Death of Superman comic book arc, Superman didn't stay dead for too long after a fatal collision with Doomsday, and you can rest assured he won't in the movies either. Who f***ing cares? Deadpool After the credits rolled in the brilliant Deadpool movie, the character re-emerged on screen from the bedroom of Ferris Bueller from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, wearing a bathrobe identical to the one Ferris wore. After some typically humorous babbling from Ryan Reynolds' character, Oh, you're expecting a teaser for Deadpool too. Well, we don't have that kind of money. He explains that there will be a sequel to the movie, and that Cable will be in it. Casual audiences probably don't know the character, but he's iconic in Marvel comic books. He's the telekinetic son of Cyclops and a clone of Jean Grey, called Madeline Pryor. But he can also time travel, and he's actually appeared in a comic book called Cable and Deadpool. As he's from the future, expect him to travel back in time to join Deadpool for some violent capers in the sequel. You also have to imagine that Wolverine will appear alongside them in Deadpool's second movie, given how many references to the character were made in the first one. Thanks for watching our list of 10 confusing movie endings and what's next for the heroes who starred in them. Did you enjoy this video? Did it clear anything up for you? Let us know in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.